of my amazing artists. This week we have a new project and a new artist. Our artist this week is named Mary Blair. And she's an artist who made paintings for Disney. So the old movies a long, long, long time ago, she used to illustrate, so to make paintings and drawings for them. Here are some of her artworks. As you can see, this looks a lot like some Disney princess movies. She um, is really into castles and her castles have lots of shapes and lines um, and some really pretty colors. Before we get started on this project, I do have a read aloud book for you. And there is a link in the description of this assignment in the instruction part um, that you click and it'll take you to a read aloud that reads you a book about her her artwork. So once you've read that, you can come back. So you can pause it right here to go read that, then come right back. Okay, so our project this week, this is a two week project. So we'll have this week and next week. And this is the start. This is as far as you will get this week. As you can see, it kind of looks like a castle, but we are going to practice shapes. As you can see, there's lots of shapes in here. You can probably pick out some, but we are also going to practice vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines. Do you know what those lines are? So horizontal lines are straight across and that is like the horizon, so where the sky meets the ground. That line is sideways. Vertical is the opposite. It's straight up, straight up and down. That's vertical. And then diagonal is in between. So it could be like that diagonal or that diagonal. So we have horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Good job. Let's get started on our project this week. We are going to start with our paper horizontal, so side to side. And we are going to draw some rectangles. And they're long rectangles going up. And they're different sizes, sort of like a cityscape or so different buildings and the castle too. So they're all, almost looks like steps, but they're all just rectangles. And I have five rectangles. You could do five, you could do more, or you could do less. But I do want you to fill your paper up. After we have our rectangles, it's time to add some triangles. And you could do your triangles on the top of your rectangles. You could even add a little circle for a little extra. You could do a half circle as well. It's up to you on how you want to make your castle. Inside of all the rectangles, we are going to draw horizontal and vertical lines, so side to side and up and down, as well as diagonal lines, so the ones that are like crooked. And that breaks up the space, and in some of those squares, we can add new shapes, like that circle you see. So you could do yours how I do mine, or if you'd like, you could do it your own style, in your own way. But I do want to see vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines. It would also be really nice if you added some shapes. So I have a circle, we have a heart, we have triangles. You could think of new shapes to add to this. You could do stars. She sometimes uses like a flower shape or even like a sun shape that you could add. But we are trying to fill up each rectangle tower with a horizontal, a vertical, and a shape, as well as a diagonal. So it's up to you on how you fill it in. You could do it like mine or do it like your own. Awesome. Once you are happy with your pencil drawing, it is time to outline it with either a sharpie, a black marker, a black pen, or a black crayon, whichever you have available. We're going to go over all of our pencil lines, and this is permanent, so it's um, good to do after you know for sure that you like your pencil lines. Um, this is super fast, so please pause it and do it at your own pace. Uh, I am speeding it up because I don't want to run out of time. After you have done the Sharpie, erase your entire piece. That gets rid of all your pencil marks, and it looks like you did it perfect on one way to go. We should only be as far as the Sharpie line and next week we will color it in and finish these up. So keep these safe 
for next week. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to take a photo of it and submit it in either CISO or Google Classroom. Bye.